Hey everyone, welcome back to Open. So October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And well, you know, breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer among US women. The American Cancer Society estimates about 3,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in women this year. It's actually 300,000, my people. I'm sorry, I said that incorrectly. And so during this month, we acknowledge those who have and are currently battling this horrible disease. And while taking the time to also uplift, support, and educate ourselves about the impact this disease has on thousands of women and families. Our next guest is a multilingual filmmaker, educator, director, producer, and editor. She makes intimate films highlighting topics such as identity, human relationships, race, art, and health. Her most recent award-winning documentary, Foreign Puzzle, highlights the story of a Mexican-American single mother who's a choreographer and school teacher battling and getting treatments for breast cancer. And she's here to share more. Please welcome multilingual filmmaker, educator, director, producer, editor, and Foreign Puzzle director, Chitra Jaren. Thank Hello you so much. Hello and welcome. My pleasure. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, we're glad to have you here. I mean, we just gave our viewers a little snippet of uh, what Foreign Puzzle is about. However, the story itself um, obviously required some level of intimacy between yourself and the individual that you're capturing. So um, let's just start with, I guess, first how you choose your subjects and your stories and and how it all unfolds. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, I love families. I feel like everything, that is the crucible of life, where we are born, who we are with, and I love that, um, that when things disrupt the family, like in, in this case, Sharon Maroquin had cancer, right? And I, I like capturing what happens to relationships, how are we handling everything. So that's my interest in any film I, I do. I think in the style of filmmaking I do, I like intimacy. I just like us to just be invited into the room and I say yes to making films when the person also wants that as much as I do. So that's kind of how the connection happened with Sharon in Porn Puzzle, yeah. So did you step into this film knowing that you were going to talk about this particular topic or did the topic present itself while you were in conversations with this individual? Well, she was already going through cancer, right? And I, at that point, I, I also had a lump removed. And, you know, like I found there were very few stories of women of color. Um, it was a younger woman's disease when it came to cancer for women, uh, women of color. And there were very few, and our experiences are very specific, right? Like often we are immigrants, um, you know, sometimes really away from family or um, working many jobs, having to juggle, like, you, you know, it, yes, there's a health aspect, but then there's all of these other challenges right. that, and then, you know, then there's health insurance, then, you know, I felt it was a completely right. different experience. And, uh, and then there's just so much stigma about talking about breast cancer within the community. Right. So I definitely wanted a person of color story, but then as someone who just went through, like, you know, I had, had a lump removed, it was benign, but just this, just the mammogram. I'm like, right. who designed this? Right. Like, like, as if this yes. is a detachable part of my body. Like, I know. Just, just the it, whole <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, I, I do it every single year. Yeah. So I know what you're referring to. And, and if you guys are not in there <laughs> getting your mammograms, it's not the most ex comfortable experience, yeah. but it's really highly recommended. Yeah. Um, although, you know, they kind of squeeze you down to nothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I'm like, who does that? Like, it's like yeah. they become yeah. flat, <laughs> you know? <laughs> But yeah, but I mean, it's nice that we could find humor <laughs> in it. But the truth of the matter is, is it, it's really um, a necessity. It's yeah. something that you have to do every single and, year. And in Sharon, in Sharon's case, it was her routine mammogram when she just turned forty. She had gone to her, you know, annual physical, and they were like, "Hey, you turned forty. You should do a mammogram." And guess what? She's diagnosed with stage two, like fairly aggressive cancer in in, in a routine 
like a mammogram test. So she, yeah, I'm a huge advocate, like you are, about the need for right. getting that done because if she did not, right, if, then if, she wouldn't have been able to pro, yeah. get to where she is now, which we're going to share with you guys, yeah, right? So, exactly. So, so. Um, I, I started to, I saw the film, right, and um, and I want to say from uh, just experiencing it, it, it's it isn't I it's something that I think we need to have conversations about and it's very real it's very authentic but it's also very artistic and so the, the your storytelling style allows one to almost like heal in the process even though she's still going through it right and so I mean without spoiling too much um, uh, and here's her son that we're looking at right now um, who was what six years old, and um, and I love the way he communicates uh, with this sense of of confidence. And and meanwhile, she's a single mom in this journey as well. And um, and you were able to capture all of this, right? And so, if you don't mind sharing with our viewers what you shared with me, right? Because again, I asked you, like, how do you choose your your stories and um, and and what kind of relationship does that form as well, right? Because that's very intimate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, it's like um, I think I'm. You know, Sharon had reached. I was I was in film school at that time, and she wanted someone to document this dance, which she called materiality of impermanence. Because what she, f when the diagnosis for breast cancer came, she felt that her life was just cracked open, and she had to put the puzzles pieces together. She did not recognize herself. That's why the title is Foreign Puzzle, Puzzle, because she's like, I don't know my body. I don't know who I was. Now I have to relearn how to live. But but for her, it was also relearning how to die because the and she was very real about that, right? She was like, yes, I'm going to get treatment for this, but I'm also going to constantly live with this. What if it comes back? What if it and she felt at that time the medical community or everybody around her was not willing to talk about it. And when I asked her, she was like, hey, you need to keep it real. You know, irrespective of what the outcome is, you want you want to sort of not sugarcoat this. You want to keep that real. So that was her sort of um, request from my end. And then for me, I was like, I want to document your dance because that's allowing a really nice metaphor. Right. But then the dance by itself does not really hold it together if I can't follow your medical journey and then this personal journey of being a single mom with this very young child where you're juggling a job, rehearsing for dance, and then this like intense treatment, right? And so she was like, wait, you want to film me washing dishes? You want, you know, time, you know, reading bedtime stories to my child? I was like, yeah, everything, right? So I would go spend every weekend with them every weekend for 18 months and then every Sunday we'll have a phone conversation Sharon will be like what is your week looking like she'll be like I'm doing this 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 and I'll be like okay I want to film a bunch of these things and then I'll reach the hospital or the surgical unit or the school wherever to get their permission and then be there so that was our life for 18 months for 18 months and now this film is an award-winning film and it's actually being screened um, three times here in New York, uh, one of them being in the Bronx. We're gonna share that information with you guys later. However, um, I think it's important that we also share that while people may experience this film now, this film was captured very many years ago. And um, since her son, who was six in the film, is now in college, Mm -hmm. And she is a 10 plus year survivor. She's married again. So, so it's, I think it's, it's, yes, the film is beautiful. And, you know, even if I made it, I, I'd say that. But then it's even more special watching it with Sharon in attendance because it almost kind of takes you like, okay, that was, that was intense. But then there's light at the end of the tunnel. There's all of this beautiful life. And, 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 and so, so when people, especially people, you know, going through cancer right now, watch it and have this Q&A with her. Like, because when the film ends, the question always is, how is Sharon? And when they see Sharon walk in, it's the most beautiful thing I, ever. I, I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine because I was invested watching the film. And um, even the way the film ends, which I'm not going to tell you guys, you got to see it. You got to see it for yourself. That I was left hopeful. Hopeful in various 
areas of our existence, we'll say, right? That's all I'm giving you guys. <laughs> Yeah, the film does get super philosophical about yes. life itself. Yes, which I loved. I loved. You did a great job Thank you. Uh, of taking us with you, with her, um, and really capturing the humanity of it, right? Mm -hmm. And the relation to mind, body, and spirit. You did it. And so to have that person in per in person, right, which they're they're going to be attending the Longwood Arts Gallery uh, screening as well as the Bronx uh, Music Heritage screening, um, I'm sure is going to leave a lot of individuals hopeful. So um, I applaud you for the work that you have done and continue to do in this um, filmmaking industry, right? Because you're also a professor, right, mm -hmm. in NYU. I, I teach it, uh, yeah, I yeah, do, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I know, we're, we're here to talk about the film itself, however, it's just the conversation and the mm -hmm. choice of topics, so thank you for bringing it here to our viewers on Breast Cancer Awareness Month, everyone, Chitra J. Ram, once again, multilingual film filmmaker, educator, director, producer, editor, and foreign puzzle director, uh, once again, the uh, series of foreign puzzle screenings will start on Wednesday, October 25th, from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Ida K. Lang Recital Hall at Hunter College, which is located at 695 Park Avenue in Manhattan. And then on Friday, October 27th, from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Longwood Art Gallery at Hostess Community College, which is located at 415 Grand Concourse in the Bronx. And on Saturday, October 28th, from 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m., at the Bronx Music Heritage Center, which is located at 1303 Louis 9 Boulevard, also in the Bronx. For tickets and more information, you can visit eventbrite.com. And for more on Chitra, you can visit realtalkies.com.